Usually what I'm thinking is how much longer? Okay. Is Chipper swimming straight? Is Chip <laughs> Yeah. That's Am I go am I gonna try to pee while swimming? Oh, which is a challenge. Yeah. And then immediately started. after that, is Chipper gonna try to pee while swimming? And then finally is my wetsuit swept. <laughs> Welcome to the Low Tide Boys, a Swim Run podcast. I'm Chip. And I'm Chris, and this is episode 234 of the show. Thank you for listening and for watching the show on YouTube. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and leave us a review. We're trying something new this week. In this episode, we'll be quizzing each other on how well we know the way the other thinks. Oh. So what we did, we created some top five categories, which we like, we always think in terms of lists yeah. on random aspects of Swim Run. And this will be sort of a family feud style game where I will be giving Chipper a prompt and he has, you know, basically three strikes to guess the top oh, five. Oh, man. Oof. And uh, hopefully you'll learn something about Swim Run <laughs> along the yeah. way. But we just wanted to try something new. We thought it'd be kind of fun to just like, you know, try to like guess, you know, what will be I think it'll be fun. A little bit. There's a little bit of humor in there. I'm sure it's hard not to inject that. But yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do that. We have a few, what are we... A week away from Whistler. Yes. The Stoke. We're getting close. It's, it's getting high. I'm really, really excited there. I think we kind of peaked on our training block weeks and now's the, you know, dialing back a little bit than the elusive taper week. Yeah. We had. It's going to be fun. But shall we get into it? Okay. Before we get to the game show. So Come Steven, on down. So Steven, uh, we want to let everyone know about all the things we're going to be doing in Whistler, official LTBZ activities for yes. folks when you get into town. So Chipper, what are we doing? First things <laughs> first. So we're really stoked. As you may remember, we partnered with Forum on the release of their 2.0 goggle. They're actually in the Vancouver area. So they're right in the neighborhood. And we hit them up. We said, hey, we'd love to do something together. So the Low Tide Boys in Forum are presenting FICA with Forum. Saturday morning at 9 a.m., uh, we are doing a, a proper fika. So Forms buying some pastries, bringing some coffee. They're also going to bring some of their new goggles to test out and demo. They'll also be having some pairs to buy there, some exclusive discounts. Uh, mm -hmm. So come uh, do that. We can swim. We're, we're, this is right by our, our cabin there, but we're going to meet at Lakeside Park in Whistler. That's 9 a.m. on Saturday, July 6th. Fika with form. So we'll see you there. Come out, try the new goggles on, test out some equipment. We'll be there. We'll we'll jump in the 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 lake, swim around. You know, you could do a little shakeout or whatever. Still have time to go do plenty of other stuff uh, that day. But 9 a.m. July 6th, Fika with Form. Come demo the new awesome goggles from Form Swim. Yeah. And then on the same day, we're talking uh, July 6th at 4.15, basically right after the end of packet pickup for the race on Sunday, we're going to be doing another live podcast, this time with Safrian Berkland and Lars Fenonger. So race director for Atala and then race director for Atala USA. So it'll be really cool to chat with them and it'll be the usual, give us the state, get us super stoked about the state of swim yeah. run in America, in North America. So that'll be super fun. Yeah, really looking forward to that. We had a great conversation with Dominic and Lars uh, before Atala Austin in last uh, November. Uh, so really cool that that Atala wants to do another live pod with us as well. Yeah. And then right after that, go eat, go get ready for the race, get your good night's sleep because you got Atala Whistler the next day. We're gonna we are so stoked to be out there. Do the race after the race. We got our official Low Tide Boys post race party. It's at 5 p.m. to 7, so plenty of time yeah. to, to drink and have some Canadian delicacies. It's family-friendly. It's a Black's Pub. Go to Facebook. You'll see all the calendar invites. We'll also post it on our Instagram account so you'll know what's happening. But, yeah, that's going to be super fun, and we hope to see everyone there. Yeah, bring we, your families. Bring your families. Bring bring your kids. Bring everybody. Uh, come celebrate a, a fun day out there on the Attila Whistler course. We have multiple opportunities to to meet and hang out with you all. So really looking forward to see you out there on one or maybe all of these events. So yeah. we'll see you out there. Now back to the game show. Come on. Oh, that was aggressive. That was. We don't have any family sure. feud style music or anything, but or we do we? Have three. <laughs> oh, we could add, we could add it in. We'll get a content copyright strike on YouTube. 
But uh, yeah, how should we? Let's do it this way. Who's going to go first? This was my idea. potentially really bad idea. So why don't I go first and I'll okay. give you a category and then you, you can come up with some guesses. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm ready. So the first category, we'll start pretty pedestrian and then we'll get, unfortunately, more ridiculous. <laughs> Great. But okay. Okay. What Chipper, what are things that we usually bring slash travel with to a swim run? Top five things that we definitely try to bring with us when we go to a swim run. I would say we're definitely been into, you got me on this, but one is the dry bag situation. <laughs> okay, that's one. Dry bag situation is one. I always, we all always bring in com extra compression things and or like compression socks and or like Theragun. <laughs> That, but we do actually bring those up. We do bring those. <laughs> do bring those. <laughs> That'd be on the top seven. Uh, oh, man. This is, I mean, obviously, like all of our swimming gear. I mean, is that? Yeah. Can you, be, can you be more specific? More specific. Okay. I'll, I'll give you a hint. How many wetsuits do we usually bring? Okay. We bring, we bring an excess of wetsuits. <laughs> more Ding. than one wetsuit. Okay. <laughs> usually, we've, we've gotten better. I will almost say that we, in the past, have brought more than one shoe sometimes. Eh. But yeah, that, okay, don't feel great about that answer. Usually, tons of Low Tide Boys stickers to give out to people. You know what? That one probably should have been on here, but okay. that's also like, eh. Oh, so, man. So, so I got two? You, you got two out of Ooh, five. Brutal. Not bad, okay, not bad. Okay. So here, here is the list. We usually bring at least two wetsuits. Yep. We, we bring an extra bag for morning clothes or post-race change. Yes. We, if we got a quick turnaround, we'll bring a few dry bags to put in all of our wet stuff mm -hmm. for where we travel. And we always try to make sure we bring what we're going to need on race day in case we're in some random place and they don't have like the gels and stuff like that. Yeah. And then finally, microfiber towels are your friend. Yes. But Lots I'd probably, fuel, now, I'd probably replace that one though. Protein bars, fueling, like I'm always bringing extra yeah. precision. If you're super like, picky about your gel, yeah. like don't sure think you're going to find it at CVS or something. Okay. It's definitely not going to be at CVS. All right, Chris, no peeking over okay. on my screen here. All right. I'm going to go, you want the, okay, we'll go top throw money at the problem items. So if, you know, maybe we're, if you're a week out or a week and a half out from Whistler, like we are, you're, you've entered what we have affectionately yes. called throw money at the problem. Yes. What are the top items to throw, throw mm -hmm. money at? And this is specifically gear or just like more, actually just things, fine, items, fine. new wetsuit. The new wetsuit is not on the Oh, no. Okay. Strike ah. one. Hmm. Throw money at the problem. Massage. Oh. Massage. No, that's not on there. Oh, wow. Oh, for two. Oh. It is. There is. It is heavy gear. It is heavy, heavy gear. Heavy, heavy gear. I'll give you that hint. New pull buoy? Y yes. I have. Ding, ding, ding. I have pull buoy size upgrade. So. Whatever size you have now, yes. just get the next bigger one. Yes. Um, okay. New shoes. New shoes is number one, top on the list there. Okay. Ding, ding. New goggles. No new goggles, but I will count that. I did have oh, accessories. Okay. I was thinking, you know, the Arc Halo or a new okay. kangaroo top. I also had carbon fiber. It's something yeah, that you just would throw sure. out. And then I also had new gel nutrition items. Like, oh, I you panic panic mode and you go and you buy the new yeah. the new hotness. Drop a hundred dollars. Yeah, drop a hundred dollars <laughs> on the feed or precision fuel and hydration, yeah. of course. That's Low tide fifteen. If you're doing that, save yourself fifteen percent. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. So far, we're not very good at this. <laughs> we better. Okay. So here's this category. Okay. Uh, things that I think about while Chipper is leading a swim. I think number one's gonna be I hope he doesn't have to take a piss. Ding. Number two is um, he's sighting horribly. Sighting is way off. Go Ding. right, go left. Backseat. Backseat. <laughs> okay, okay. Number three is I wonder if there's some like, oh, is he, how fast is he going? Like, what is his effort? Is he going nope. really hard, really slow? Okay. Nope. And just to remind you, these are things that I'm that thinking, you're about thinking about while you're okay. leading this one. You might be thinking about the next, like, what's the next run like coming up and how you're going to approach it, maybe. Eh. Okay. No tactics. Is that two? 
That's two strikes. Maybe you're thinking, oh, this is what the underside of Chipper's shoes look like. Yeah, no. No. Okay. okay. So usually what I'm thinking is how much longer okay. is Chipper swimming straight? Is Chip <laughs> yeah. That's Am I go am I gonna try to pee while swimming? Oh, which is a challenge. Yeah. And then immediately struggling. after that, is Chipper gonna try to pee while swimming? And then finally is my wetsuit swept. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I should have got that one. Yeah, as my wetsuit. It's like AKA that the, the Marcus, uh, Barton the Marcus Barton. Incidents, incidents. I think we've we've also done that once or twice ourselves. Oh, I for think, sure. Potentially, it's like a rite if you, of passage. If you've done enough swim runner, if you've done enough swim runs, you probably have entered a swim not one hundred percent geared to the max. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Chris. Next category okay, for I you. Are you ready? In, in a similar vein, I think you kind of highlighted this one to me. Top thoughts during a long run segment. So this isn't just necessarily me, but we can, one part is, but, uh, sure. Top, top thoughts during a long run se segment could um, be Orna, could be the long run at Storm of Lake James. How much longer is it? I'll give you that one because okay. it's like, when is the next swim? When is the next <laughs> swim? When is the yeah, next for swim? sure. For sure. When am I taking my next gel? Uh, I will also give you that one because. The answer I put is should have had more fuel at the eighth station. So either more water or more gel yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Should I cab down? Number one answer. I should have cabbed okay. down. Should yes. Have cabbed down. Yes. So a little bit of, uh, you know. So I've got three out you, of five. You, this is, yeah. You're, this you're on a roll. Pretty good. You're this on a roll good. on this one. A little cheeky on the next, uh, next one or two. Can Chris slow the hell down? Yes. Why <laughs> did I let Chris lead the run? Okay. One more. Oh damn, this is tough. It's related to the to the previous um, previous. Can I throw trip? The can I trip Chris with the tether? No, no violence involved in any no, of these. Oh, answers. that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, let's keep it. So I'll give you an X on that one, unfortunately. Okay. Related to throwing money at the problem. Yeah. I should have gotten you shoes. What? Yeah. Oh, no, that was it. One. Oh, All nice right. job. All hey, right. five for five. You're the first one to score a uh, perfect score on that one. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. Well, this one, this one's going to be easy. Wait, hold on. My thing. I feel like when I was writing this, I'm like, I have thought every one of these things. And I thought specifically <laughs> about the calving down was the swarming like James incident oh, my when goodness. you were cooked. Yeah. You were properly cooked at that aid station. Yeah. I was, I was medium rare. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chipper. Last okay. category from me. Okay. Reasons why Casco Bay should be on every swim runner's bucket list. Oh. Yeah. So this is a little, you know, sort of oh. non-sponsored content. Non -sponsored, but sponsored we love content, this race. Yes. We I actually do think this should be on every swim runner's bucket list. Mm, man. I think hopefully this is on there, but the food, fika, coffee situation in Portland, Maine is very strong. What's that standard baking co? I think we usually go there. Ding. So fucking That's good. Uh, number five, standard Ooh, baking Ooh, nice. Co. Nice. Also, I'm going to give you number four, which was lobster rolls. So I'll just wrap oh, that okay. in the food. So okay, you got cool. a two for there. I'm going to, this is a little bit of a stretch mm -hmm. in terms of a guess. Mm -hmm. Water taxi after the race. Back. <laughs> you know, that would have been number six. But okay. That one didn't make the cut. Okay. I'm going to say the boat, the ferry ride out to the first island is always a great time. There, It is a little bit of a nervous, everyone's in a bundle of nerves, but it's also you're with everyone and you're kind of going to go do the thing after. Yep. I'll give you that one. Okay. The island to island point to point venture. Of Got it. it. Okay. Okay. Wow. Two we're more. Better. Or, well, Two one more. more. One, one more. more. Oh, man. Oh, it's a unique feature of the course. Oh, Vale Island. There you go. Vale <laughs> Island for sure. Good, good call. It's gonna there say you go. Running by John Stevens' parents' house. On yeah. Peaks in, or whatever. In, in honorable mention, it is diamond, the longest. Little diamond, maybe. I actually checked my facts on this. It's the yeah. longest continuous swim run in America. Wow. So awesome. You know, this year will be like year six or year five or something like that. Cool. So, All right, Chris. So last category for okay. you. On a similar vein, top post-race beer meetup topics. Top post-race beer. So yeah, you know, after Whistler, we have nice. we have the post-race meetup there. At we'll insert it here once we record the proper Black's Pub. Black's Pub post-race five. So envision Whistler. yourself there 
5 p.m. We had a great time at the first Canada's first Attila event, Attila Whistler, where the the poutine and the beers mm. are flowing. What are the <laughs> topics? What are the top topics there? Um, lost gear items on the course. Oh, I that is not on the list, uh, but I will give it to you. The question is, what gear should I upgrade? What gear should I upgrade? Because people yeah. go around, yeah. oh man, uh, you got the paddles. Like I need to get the paddles. Mm -hmm. and you, uh, you know, there's a lot of I like retrospective. Hooked. Yeah, what do I need to I'm get? Hooked. Now? What's the next yep. upgrades? Yep, sharing war stories. Yes, I have there. As in, that swim X was crazy. That run was crazy. So yeah, sharing your war stories or a particular segment yep. that was very exciting. It's a cheeky one. There's a cheeky one in here as well. Chafing. Wow, that's. Does anyone have any aquaform from on the web server? Nice. Adrian usually has. <laughs> yeah. He's good for yeah, or, or Bronwyn. Bronwyn usually. She, oh yeah, she, she does get the a... bad uh, neck chafe there. Wow, you're you're on a roll. You're a three. Damn. I feel like it's a it's a easy one, and we hear this a lot. I remember at these post race, sure. especially for new new people, just like how fun it was. No, that like, nah, I'm gonna, oh, damn, I'm gonna okay. answer, but it's okay. similar, similar kind of vein. Like they had so much fun, you know. They want which one should we do next? Yes. What's the next race to sign up for? Which one should I go for? And the the final one is uh damn. also cheeky. So did you strangle your partner with the tether? No, but that's a good one. That's that would have been number six. Oh damn. Okay, I got one more strike. One more strike. You're at the Man. bar. You had a good time celebrating, maybe. I don't know, man. Mm. Another round. Another round. That, there's that's in the topic. Another round yeah. for everyone there. Another round. Yeah. That okay. was that was that was good. That was good. Nice. Yeah. So those were all the categories. But I do think there's, you know, and so far as we're trying to be just ridiculous here, <laughs> but also try to be of service. I think like the travel tips is something that it's always well taken. I'm always super happy when I even I even bring like a disposable, like a paper bag or something for yep. the morning just so I can keep all my stuff organized and not worried about where my pull buoys or paddles are and stuff like that. So so thinking about when you're traveling to Swarmlands is important. But I think also getting to know your partner, kind of understanding what makes them tick, yep. having them understand what makes you tick, how to lighten sort of the burden of racing, especially when it's challenging as most swarm runs are. Is, is is good and sort of just a fun way to to experience. And I mean, certainly we've done a lot of races where I'm like, I'm pretty sure I know what Chipper's thinking this exact second and For vice sure. versa, right? And, yeah. uh, and that just, you know, just one of the things that makes the sports super fun. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, we definitely, uh, this was a fun, fun exercise to do, but I think you're right around the packing and just the general sort of preparedness piece of it. There's, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a swim run, a trail race, a triathlon, whatever, like the more prepared you can be and just have it be less things to worry about that morning, you know, your stress level can go down maybe half a notch or one notch or, or whatever there. And then, uh, yeah, like really high, highlighting the communal community aspect as well that, you know, we really love seeing folks out there, whether it be at the swim run shakeout or the post race for sure brewery meetup or you know during packet pickup i love seeing everybody there and we're really stoked to see folks at attila whistler yeah so as usual with the new show format let us know what you think if you have some categories that were just like no brainers that we should have you know have for the next game send yeah. us a dm or an email yeah and we hope to see a bunch of you at whistler but I think until then Thanks for watching and or listening to the show. I'm subscribing and liking and all that good stuff. Yeah. Over and out. See you out there. Bye. That's it for this week's episode. Thanks so much for listening to the show. Make sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and leave a wet rating or review since that's the best way to help other people discover the show and the sport of swim run. Check out our website, lowtideboys.com. That's boys with a Z for swim run resources, including gear guides, tips, how-to videos, and so much more. Make sure to check out our meme page at the Low Tide Boys on Instagram. If you have any questions or suggestions for the show, send us a DM or email us at lowtideboys at gmail.com. We'd like to thank Riding Easy Records for our show music and, of course, our wives for their support and tolerance of our swim run and other activities. Lots of activities. Lots of activities. <laughs> Finally, you can support our efforts on Patreon. Until next time, get
get out there and go for a swim. Then a run. And then a swim. Then another run. Then another swim. Then run some more. Just keep going. Let's go. And then stop at some point because, you know. And fuel. Don't forget to fuel. Got to fuel, too. Of course, yes. <laughs>